Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. It's Mile Tutorials here, marketing tutorials for you. Today we're going to be setting up our Google Ads Universal app campaigns. If you've never heard of this before or if you've been Googling it, looking for how to advertise your application, your mobile application for Android or iOS devices, then you've come to the right place because we're going to be going in with a beginner's tutorial and we just want to figure out Google Ads with you today. Of course, we kind of know what we're doing, so follow along. If you want, you can set it up side by side on your screen and just do whatever we're doing, but for your application. And it's going to be very interesting for all of us. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. So let's go ahead and get into our Google ads. We want to set up a new campaign and it's asking us what our main advertising goal is. And obviously we don't have a physical location. We don't need more calls, website sales or signups. Um, let's just go to the experience with Google ads because after this video, you will be and we can get in to our settings right here. App promotion is the one that we're looking for. It's just down here, right next to brand awareness and reach. When you're selling your application or you want people to download your application, if it's a free one, you gotta do an app campaign. So once you click that, it'll allow you to select the campaign type. And the only one we have available is the app campaign. Now you can select iOS, Android, you have to do them separately, but for today's purposes, we're going to be going for Android applications, but the process is exactly the same when it comes to iOS applications. Of course, the ad copy and the creatives may be a little bit different, but that's all up to you. So let's pick our app names. There's no Android apps in this account, but can we just advertise for a random application? Let's take a look. Let's advertise the Facebook Messenger app. Why not? This is how you would find your application, by the way. You would just search it down there, the name of your application, or enter the link, and it would pop up here. Now, we already have basically most of our ads set up, and we're gonna do some of the main parts, which is naming our campaigns. You guys know how I feel about names. Your campaign should represent what your whole purpose is, so that when later, if you're passing on the work to somebody, or if you need to go back and revise your work, you know exactly what you're doing, and especially if you have multiple, multiple campaigns open up everywhere. So we're gonna name this one UAC, which stands for Universal App Campaigns, and we're gonna call it and Android. There we go. Here we go into Add Assets. Add Assets is the place where we can add all of our different copies, all of our different creatives that we want to have for this campaign to help our application be downloaded. So since we've decided to do the advertisement for Messenger, we can add Add Text Ideas here. It allows you to add four ad copy ideas up to 25 characters each. And if you have trouble coming up with it, you can look at your app description. This is where you would put some keywords that are going to help the machine learning process of the UAC really find out who to show your application to. This is great because for Messenger, for example, we can write free messaging app or something like that. Underneath it, we can write Facebook's new app etc, etc, etc. You would fill four of these out here. And then Google finds a way to combine two of these at a time like this in the way that people most prefer it. So depending on the higher click through rates. So if people are clicking more on Facebook's new app rather than free messaging app, then Google is going to show it more in order to get a higher click through rate for you. Then you can add your own video ads. This could be from a YouTube video and you would just copy and paste the YouTube link right here. If you have 20 videos, you can upload all 20 of them. Google recommends doing variations of videos, for example, a 60 second video, 15 second, 30 second, six second, etc. So basically having one video and then editing it in different ways or having your creative team do that. And you can just come up with 20 different ideas to do here. So if we wanted that, we would just go to youtube.com slash Facebook or something, whatever that's gonna come up, say this is our video. And this video is now going to be a part of our campaigns. I got fired from Facebook. That's not the one we want, but I'm just putting it here for demonstration purposes. And then we get to the image ads. You can add up to 20 images and you can see the types of specs that you can have these images be. And for example, we want to go for non animated images and you look at ad sizes. Now you're going to want to skip all of these up here and go directly to mobile. And these are the banners or the photos that you can upload with these sizes. There is a few more that you can use for mobile, but they're all generally around these lengths and these sizes of the photos. And you can add up to 20 of them here, which support your campaign. The same with HTML5 ads, which is a whole separate video that 
I'm going to be making. So make sure to subscribe to my channel down below so you can see that HTML5 ads is basically not a part of setting up the Google ads, but it does help the Google algorithm show your application to the proper audience. So if you want to see how to make HTML5 ads, you can click subscribe down below and we're going to take a look at that. So here we have an ad preview in search on Google search. This is what our ad would look like. People, when they're searching one of our keywords or keywords related to our application, they're going to see Facebook's new app, app idea, and basically an image like this on their phones. On Google Display Network, they're going to see something like this, which is um, one of our images from the App Store. And also they're going to see the name of our application right here and our ad copy that we came up with over here, our rating overall, how many downloads, and an install option that leads them directly to the App Store to download it. Now, of course, Google is going to have different types of these variations that it makes for you, auto generates for you, and it shows them to the proper audience in accordance to what it's learning that it's most appropriate and what's learning that it's having the highest click through rate, that it's getting the most installs for you and for the cheapest price. Going on to YouTube, exactly, it's going to be a YouTube pop up ad, and on the Play Store, it's going to look like this. So you can really play around with these settings and make it to your application. Nobody can tell you what the right copy is here. I'm just showing you what the different points are that you can play around with so you can optimize your campaign further. Now talking about further optimization, we go down to locations. So say we want to show our messenger ad in Germany only, and then we can exclude some countries if our application just isn't supported in those, or we can do all countries and territories. So let's just select Germany for the purposes of this one. This is really cool if your application is in many languages and you want to advertise the language version of that application in a certain country. So you can do multiple of these campaigns and they won't be competing against each other. They'll just be competing in that certain market, which can get you better, more specified results rather than choosing all countries and territories. Again, depends on your app. And for languages, we can choose German and English language, what people prefer and usually search in. Now we get to budget. This is another very interesting thing. So depending on how much we want to spend each day, we would have to set our daily budget here. And for example, this depends on how much your marketing spend is, how much you want to be spending. And I just put 2,500 euros here per day, which is not everybody's marketing spend. It is a lot of people's monthly marketing spend. But for this purpose, we're just going to do a 2,500 marketing spend. Of course, this is something you decide by yourself and it will affect the ability of Google to generate installs for your application, but only to the extent of this next part, which is the bidding. Now, Google ads, UAC ads for your app work in a certain way by setting a bid for the application. So how much you want to pay for every single install. So if we wanted to get 2,500 installs per day, we would set our budget to that much. And then our target cost per install, we would set it to one euro. That means for every one euro spent, we would get at least one install. And that is actually great because we would be reaching a fairly normal, I would say, bidding for depending on what kind of application we're in. Again, this also depends a lot on your industry and how much your budget is and the certain relationship between the budget and your target's CPA or CPI over here in this case is very important. For example, we have a great budget here, 2,500 per day, and we have a target per install one euro. But if we set our target per install at 10 euros, say we're in a very competitive market, which I don't think many of them are like this, again, up to you to do the research for that, then this wouldn't be a very good relationship because we would run out of our budget very quickly uh, as soon as we got, for example, uh, I don't know the math, 250 installs, we would run out of our 2,500 budget, which can be within a couple of hours of launching these campaigns. So we're definitely not going to do that. On the bidding, you can see you have a couple of more options. What do you want to focus on? Install volume or in-app actions. And what kind of users do you want to target? All users or users likely to perform an in-app action. As you can tell, we're not allowed to select the in-app action option. That is because we do not have any tracking software connected to our Google Ads yet. I know this is a beginner level one, but I want to mention that if you have any tracking software which tracks users' performances within your application post-downloading, then you could connect that with Google Ads and you're able to select an in-app action and then Google optimizes the search for these users for your campaign 
based on whether they're likely to perform that in-app action. For example, if you have an application that's an e-commerce application and you want to sell, you're selling shoes or bags on it, whatever it is, and you want people to download your app, but you want to make sure that they're the type of people that are probably going to buy something off of your application, then you could set those actions in your tracking application and then bring them here into Google and only target people who are likely to, for example, buy something on that e-commerce app, buy an extra add-on for your gaming app, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But that's going to be in a separate video. And again, so many things that are coming up. So please make sure to subscribe down below. I don't want to be annoying, but we're obviously going to have a lot to do here. And this is just the beginning for every single one of us. So let's set our target cost per install at one euro again. So now we have some sort of good relationship between these two. Again, you could set it to, for example, $250. And then we would set this to something like 10 cents per day or 10 cents per install. And that's okay too. There's nothing wrong with this. Whatever it is that your budget is, that's what you should do. And again, we have the start and end dates. Do we want to end date? When it comes to UAC campaigns, it is generally not recommended to have an end date because they work in an optimization manner. So they optimize themselves the longer they run, meaning you get better results and the type of users that you actually want for your application. That being said, if you have a budget limit, then you could obviously select a end date, but we're just going to go ahead with none here. And we're going to go into save and continue. Oh, it's asking us for a text. So let me just type in something quickly. Text app. Okay. And after we go save and continue, it is loading into our new page, which is confirm payment info and your campaign will be launched. All right, guys. I went over this very quickly. I spoke very quickly, but you can slow this video down. You can pause it every time you need to review something. And if you have any single question, I'm always down below in the comments. So please make sure to leave a comment, ask me a question, email me. As you can see, my email is up here and um, or down in the description below. Just ask me whatever you need to ask me and I'm here to help. And I hope this video really did it for you. Once again, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.